today. And we gonna talk about Disney star slash voice actor slash pop star Coco Lee. Now, if y'all aren't familiar uh, with who Coco Lee is, uh, she was the voice actress for Mulan, right? You know how they dub, uh, you know, the English version with different languages. Uh, she played, uh, she, she gave the voice for the Mandarin, the Mandarin uh, language, the Mandarin version uh, of Mulan. So she was very big in Hong Kong. She was very big in China. She was a pop star, right? So we're going to dive in and we're going to see what's really going on, right? So come on. Now, first and foremost, you already know that we have to talk about the year of Skull and Bones 2023. Uh, even the phrase Skull and Crossbones equals 223 in the ordinal cipher 223 in reverse is 322 as skull and bones is known as the order 322 uh this year also marks the 322nd anniversary of yale university on my skull and bones even uh the phrase of uh, the brotherhood of death as skull and bones is known for that uh, peep him giving you the hidden hand right here. But if we take uh, each key word and put it together, man, Skull and Bones, the Brotherhood of Death, Yale University. Putting that together, it actually equals 223 in the full reduction cipher. Now, what does this have to do with Coco Lee? Now, it's so crazy that uh, taking the CNN headline, Coco Lee, iconic Hong Kong singer and Mulan voice actress, taking that whole thing exactly how it's put, man. It happens to equal 223 in the full reduction cipher. So she also passed away, man, by the numbers in the year of Skull and Bones. So with that being said, let's dive right in. Now, if we take the span of her life from the day that she was born to the day that she was pronounced dead, to the day that she transitioned, right? She was a, a span of 48 years and five months old. Now, human sacrifice happens to equal 485 in the Latin slash Jewish cipher. Now, she, uh, Coco Lee has an interesting last post on her Instagram, man. Uh, this was her very last post that she made. She did not make any posts in the year of Skull and Bones. Her last post was December 30th of 2022. Now, she gave a long, uh, 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 she gave a long caption, man, uh, talking about love and faith, uh, wisdom, uh, you know, you can pause and read this whole thing. You know, she she, she spoke on uh, spreading love and positivity and, you know, just all these things, man. So it's real crazy, man. It's real crazy uh, that she happened to pass away 187 days after this post. Now, we know that not only Society of Jesus equals 187. Uh, the code for murder is also 187. So it's very interesting that this happened to be her last post telling her dear friends to be you and live you. It was almost like she was giving a farewell speech. Right? But come on, man. Right? Come on, man. Because the news of her death even broke on July 6th, which was the 187th day of the year. Even breaking down the date numerology, July 6th, 2023. We get 56 date numerology as Society of Jesus, 
not only equals 187, but also 56. Hmm. Interesting. Now, once again, the news breaks on July 6, 7 slash 6, about the, the actress uh, that had something to do with the Disney film Mulan. When Disney equals 76 in the ordinal cipher, ABC, 1, 2, 3. So the news about the the Disney actress, right, on 7 slash 6, when Disney equals 76. Now, what's so crazy about that is Disney was actually founded on a day leaving 76 days left in a year. So let's talk about Walt Disney now. Let's let's talk about Walt Disney for a second, right? He look like Hitler right here. But uh, if we take October 16th, 1923, the day that Walt Disney founded these Walt Disney picture, Walt Disney cartoon studio. Coco Lee passed away 99 years after the Walt Disney Company was created. 99. When we know that the number nine represents completion, but not finality. Think of it more in a cyclical sense. It's about the ending of one cycle and the potential it creates for another cycle to begin. The number nine in numerology acts as an usher in the process of transition. So she transitioned 99 years after the creation of the Walt Disney Company. Uh, meaning that a new cycle has been ushered in for the Walt Disney Company. You know, things like this uh, have to happen. But these companies, these big businesses, these corporations, things like this have to happen to usher in a new cycle. But come on, man. Let's really dive in on Walt Disney for a minute, man, because if we take Walt Disney's full name, Walter Elias Disney, it actually equals 201. Now, we already know the significance of the number 201. Now, if you don't, allow me to explain. Now, Order of Illuminati equals 201. Um, peep the synchronicities uh, in the other ciphers as well with his name. But most importantly, man, 201, man, because we just spoke about we just spoke about uh, Coco Lee passing away on Society of Jesus numerology, right? So when we circle it back, uh, the creator of the Society of Jesus, the founder of the Society of Jesus, Ignatius of Loyola, also equals 201 in the ordinal cipher. Society of Jesus is also uh, referred to as the Jesuit order, which also equals 201. Uh, we also have the first Jesuit Pope, uh, the, 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 the current Pope, right? Uh, Pope Francis, uh, real name, Jorge Mario Bergoglio. Now that happens to also equal 201 in the Orno Cipher. Now what's so crazy uh, to let us know that these uh, numbers is actually being utilized is the spokesman. Uh, said that Pope Francis moved out of the room he drew by lot before the conclave and he moved into suite 201. So we see that these numbers is being utilized, man. They is, man. And this is why we see these people uh, in front of us. The people that we see in front of us, it's not by coincidence. But come on, man. Right? Because it's also said that Walt Disney was a 33rd degree Freemason. There he is right there with his brothers. Uh, hence, uh, at Disneyland, uh, there's actually a, 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 a Club 33 at Disneyland. Right? 
Uh, he also puts, um, you know, the the, uh, the Disney company uh, puts mini symbolism uh, in their shows, movies uh, about you know uh, Freemasonry, Illuminati, as you can see in Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Uh, the word Illuminati was uh, strategically put in the background, you know, for subliminal messaging. You know, Walt, uh, Disney is known for many uh, subliminal messaging. Uh, sexual as well, very uh, sexual, very sexual cartoons, you know, that they show to kids, you see what I'm saying, but we see now uh, why, we see we see what's going on in the background, right, we see who these people is actually aligned with, right, but come on, man, right, because even in Cinderella, this is something that I didn't know, uh, in, the, in the cartoon uh, Cinderella, which, if you look over here on the cover, uh, this looks very symbolic to the peace symbol. And I'm gonna throw that. I'm gonna throw that on the screen for y'all to see that as well. So once again, more uh, symbolism, more symbolism in these shows. But not only that, but the cat in Cinderella. We've all seen this movie. Right, as kids growing up. So it's very crazy that in Cinderella, the name of the cat was actually Lucifer. Yes, thieves that was put in front of us in plain sight. Yes, the cat in Cinderella name was Lucifer. Even breaking down the Walt Disney, even breaking down uh, the symbolism, right? You can see the the six, six, six in the logo for Walt Disney. Uh, if you pay attention to the logo as well on the castle, there's actually six flags on the castle. The last, the last little point doesn't have a flag for some reason. Right? It happens to have six flags. When even if we take six flags, it happens to equal 33 in Gematria. As we know, Walt Disney was a 33rd degree Freemason. And also, this six flags, it was also a parallel uh, to me to uh, six flags, the amusement park. So it's, 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 a, it's a clear connection and what's going on uh things that's being unseen unspoken for real you see what i'm saying this is what's going on in the background right but come on because let's let, let's get back to coco right let's let's get back to coco lee because coco lee passed away 28 weeks before her upcoming birthday now, break it down the day that she passed away. She passed away on 17 day numerology when the word kill equals 17 and 28. Now, I want to I wanna focus more on the number 17 because Coco Lee was also born on the 17th day of the year. Even taking the complete span of her life, from the day she was born to the day she died, we get a span of 17,701 days, which is really 17 forwards and 17 backwards. Uh, even Mulan, which they, meant, they, 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 they make a point to mention in the headline that she was the voice actress for Mulan. Well, uh, the day that the Mulan film was released, was on the 170th day of the year. The 17, once again in numerology rules, that zero is dropped. So we get that 17 once again. Now what's so crazy to add, man, to add to it, man, uh, Coco Lee was pronounced deceased on the 170th day of her age, man, when the word sacrifice equals 170 in the English language.
was backwards. So it's some inter- it's some interesting little parallels, man, and what's going on in these people's lives, man. Numbers, they say, you know, numbers, man, numbers, numbers never lie. But come on, man. Because Coco Lee and Peep the Seven in her hand, that's crazy. But um, she also passed away, and then her body make a one for real. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, she also passed away. 196 days before her next birthday. 196. This is another parallel to the Mulan film because Mulan was released on June 19th, written 19 slash 6. So this is a clear uh, parallel from the Mulan film uh, to her, to her, to her death, right? But come on. Because if we take the day from the day that the Mulan film uh, was released to the day that Coco Lee passed away, uh, we get a span of, of 1,306 weeks once again. Dropping at zero, we get one, three, six. Just like how Coco Lee equals 136 in the Latin slash Jewish cipher. 136. Uh, they also mentioned that she was a part of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, that also equals 136. And what's so crazy is that they mentioned uh, in the bio of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, that the success of the Disney animated feature Mulan, which she was also a part of, popularized the image of the Chinese woman warrior in the West. The storyline of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon is mostly driven by three female characters. So once again, another parallel to uh, two projects that she was a part of. And even by the numbers, 136, just like Coco Lee, 136, then her passing away, 1,306 weeks after the release of Mulan. I'm moving along. There's also a parallel from Coco Lee and Bruce Lee. No, uh, they were not related, but there are uh, some interesting parallels to both of their situations. Uh, one, both of them being actors slash actresses. Uh, two, uh, them both being uh, Hong Kong actor slash actresses, right? So with that being said, with that being known, let's really dive in now. And yes, they both passed away in Hong Kong as well. Now, even breaking down their real names, Baron Lee and Lee Jun Fan. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, let me hit this button. Let me hit the Hong Kong button on my brain. Baron Lee and, 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 and Lee Jun Fan, you feel me? Lee Jun Fan, you feel me? They even synchronized by the numbers. We have 88, 155, and 47. So even their real names have a synchronicity. Now let's keep on going. Now, Coco Lee, uh, after uh, she had attempted to take her own life, she was taken to Hong Kong's Queen Mary Hospital, where she passed away. Now, this is another parallel to Bruce Lee when he passed away in Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Now, it's very interesting that Queen Mary was the grandmother of Queen Elizabeth. You know, the one that y'all know of, the one that everybody know of. You know, the queen, you know, a uh, 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 lizard, a uh, lizard bit. But, uh, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, we yeah we have an interesting, man, synchronicity between these two, man. Even down to the hospital. But what's really interesting is the fact that they are two Hong Kong actors slash actresses that passed away. Uh around uh, two British the, the British queens the British the, the, the British uh, monarch the hierarchy now Hong Kong was actually ceded to the British back in 18 
1841, China ceded the island to the British. And in 1842, the Treaty of Nanking was signed, formally ending the First Opium War. Delicate. So, for those who don't know, the word cede means to surrender possession of. So, the British owns Hong Kong. So, it's very interesting that these Hong Kong, these famous Hong Kong actors and actresses is passing away in these hospitals that have something to do with the British monarch, Queen Mary, and her granddaughter, Queen Elizabeth. I, I believe this is, hmm, maybe mockery. This could be mockery of, you know, the British taking over Hong Kong. And this is why they have these famous Hong Kong actors and actresses passing away the way that they do. Right? Because even Queen Mary and Coco, the, once again, the, the, the hospital that Coco Lee passed away in and, and her cause of death, which was, you know, uh, you know, you can't say this word on YouTube, you know, a, a, two, a, two, a two a tide, you feel me? Even by the numbers, we get 119 and 47. This is another parallel to Bruce Lee, who passed away on 119 and 47 date numerology. Once again, another parallel between the two. Now, Coco passed away 49 years after Bruce, when Bruce equals 49 in the ordinal cipher, ABC123. Now, Bruce also equals 32 as Bruce passed away at the age of 32. And last but not least, you know, they always say, you know, say the best for last, right? So it's real crazy, man. When I looked up Bruce Lee, I found this. So apparently, Coco Lee's husband name was Bruce. Man, come on, man. With that being said, man, uh, that's all we have for this video, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this situation, man, what y'all think about this. Uh, y'all leave some recommendations for any further videos. Uh, with that being said, man, uh.